Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Amazon Ads Raw Daily. Today is Friday, and I hope you have a great end to your week. Got some new exciting updates for you to talk about. The first thing is on Amazon Ads API again. Amazon really is pumping these features. I cannot lie. Uh, there's so much stuff going on so basically uh, you can go into the amazon advanced tour center every day and every day there is a message about something changing something updating and something new today there was an update about bug sheets column header name and value updates for readability this is important as most of you will most likely use bug sheets. So some of these column headers have got an update to their namings. I quickly read through it. We've updated the names of some columns, headers, and values to make them more readable. For example, in the portfolio sheet, the portfolio ID heading is now portfolio ID, where basically the, the, the only thing they changed is ID in capital letters. Before it was I capital and a small d. And in the budget po uh, policy column, the no cap value is now no uh, space cap. Before it was no cap as one word. And the date range value is now date space range. So you'll see new heading values in this sheet that you request. So basically, they just made a very small update here for a little bit of readability. Um, adding some spaces between some words and making some uh, in capital letters. That's one update. But the big announcement, the big interesting thing, exciting thing, uh, this was posted on LinkedIn from Daniel Tejada, Tejada. And I'll link you the post in the description. And he's talking about a new hot Amazon feature, which is called Brand Tailored Promotions. Brand tailored promotions is a promotion type which is directly connected to one of your audiences. If you remember, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about the customer engagement tool, which allows you to send custom email templates to some of your brand audiences, brand followers, recent customers, high spend customers, and repeat purchase customers and so on. And this new beta feature on promotions is similar to that. You can set up discounts and promotions for a specific type of your existing audience. For example, you can set up a promotion for your repeat customers, or you can set up a promotion for your brand followers. This is extremely exciting because it allows you to specifically target people who are involved with your brand already and give them a discount, a promotion, whatever. So it helps you to incentivize customers to stay with your brand for the next purchase. And that's very exciting because that's an additional step on the customer journey helping you to keep the customer engaged with your brand and buy more other similar products from your brand, from that customer audience. So um, I don't have seen that live in the account yet um, for us, so I'm not sure how it actually plays out, but uh, I'll read quickly through the four steps he's announcing in his post. Um, it allows us to create discounts based on specific buying behavior, which is Red City. It allows us to create a promo for a viewed but not purchased customer. This is extremely dope if you don't understand what, why we need an education sesh. So basically, it allows us to people who viewed your product but have not purchased, they would get a discount offered. So when they come to the product detail page again, or maybe even on the search engine result page, they would now see an additional discount, an additional promotion happening for that product. So that's very insane. That also drives margins down a lot because I would expect everybody to do that. 
people who were on my product detail page and who have not purchased, I want to give another 5%, 10% coupon off. And yeah, you, you all can see where this is going, right? Lots of discounts, lots of promotions. Allows us, the third thing he, he announces in his post is allows us to create promos for repeat customers. Obviously, this is very, very strong. Uh, I feel like there's already some incentive with safe and subscribe functionality. Um, but this is additional for repeat customers. So a customer doesn't have to be a safe and subscribe customer. It can only be measured as a repeat customer. A repeat customer from Amazon's perspective, is somebody who bought from a brand within the last 12 months. Um, this can also be interestingly helpful if you have a brand which ranges over many different product categories or which has a broader assortment. And then somebody who bought something in one product category would now be able to see a discount on a product which is also from a brand in another product category. So lots of interesting use cases here with these strategies. Um, yeah, and then the last thing he basically calls out, it's just the size of the audience, which is also visible on this new page. You would see brand followers and then the amount of brand followers you would basically reach with that. I would assume that if you set up, for example, a promotion for brand followers, that this is also going to be automatically pushed as an Amazon post to your feed for these brand followers, not 100% sure, but that would be dope and amazing. All right, that's very exciting updates, very exciting news. And with that, we'll end the week. Let's see what comes within the next week for us. Thank you all for listening. Have a wonderful Friday and hear you on Monday. Thanks. Have a good weekend.